Right, so I'm going to show you how to remove the background and make your pictures uh, transparent using PowerPoint. What you need to do, go to insert, click pictures, and then I'm going to import one picture inside uh, my PowerPoint. So that's my picture. And what you need to do once you bring in the picture, click on that and then try to locate this format option, menu option. Um, and then once you locate that, there are two ways you can remove the background. I'm gonna show you the quickest way, right? The quickest way is once you import the picture format, hover your mouse with the leftmost side and you see this remove background, just click on that. And then PowerPoint is now sensing exactly what is the main picture, what is the background. And it already created, it already created uh, a square, a rectangle, a rect, uh, a square part for us. So now what is happening right, right now, right? If you take a look, my hands are kind of getting clipped. So the way to overcome that is by either moving this a crop rectangle down and then once I once I select that if I now click on keep changes right it senses that basically uh, I had selected uh, this part and then it just makes it nice and nifty. Now, if I go back, right, um, two steps to where exactly we were. Uh, so we remove background and then what if, if, if you want to keep this height as is, right? But then the, the hands are kind of getting clipped. So PowerPoint gives you two tools, right? Mark areas to keep and mark uh, areas to remove. So basically what you do, click on mark areas to keep. And then I'm just simply going to mark, I'm telling PowerPoint that I want to keep this area. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna say I want to keep this area so when you click on mark areas to keep it converts your mouse into some kind of uh, pencil or pen now if you carefully notice right between these fingers there is some area uh, there area that doesn't look good right so what you can do there is also option for you to do mark areas to remove so click on that and then simply I'm going to click and then it now looks much better. So now that I have done with this, right, uh, what you do, just simply click on keep changes and boom, we are back in action. So this is pretty simple, easy way, right? Uh, at the same time, if you notice, um, uh, uh, this picture was pretty easy in terms of the background color and whatnot, right? Uh, I'm going to take a little complex photo, if I may, uh, which is a squirrel, right? And then if I apply the same technique, select the picture, format, remove background, and then... So now what PowerPoint has done, it looks, it is sensing that this is the picture that we want to keep, but that is not correct, right? Uh, we have the tail of the squirrel, we have this, uh, uh, this branch of the tree, right? So what you can do, right? Basically, we are gonna follow the same technique now. We are gonna say mark areas to remove. That's that. And then we want this tree branch, right? So I'm going to say basically mark uh, 
I'm telling PowerPoint. These are the areas I want to remove. It didn't work. So let's let's go back. And then what we are going to do, or rather actually I take it back. We want to keep this area. That's the mistake that I did. So rather than rather than mark areas to remove, we wanted mark areas to keep. You always learn on the job. And that's the fun part of uh, playing with uh, any kind of software tool system. You fail and learn. You fail and learn. All right. So come back here. Mark areas to keep. I want to keep this area. And then. All right. So let's keep on doing this. Let's keep uh, mark areas to keep. Now this is getting little tricky as you can imagine because uh, the tail uh, is not like a singular object. There are multiple facets of that, right? So it's going to be a little tricky as you can see, unlike this picture that we did, there is going to be some trial and error involved, but you will get the most of what you're looking for. Now this is the area that we don't want, right? So I'm going to click on mark areas to remove. And it did that. And then I want to tell, keep this, keep this, keep this. And if you want the entire tree branch, right? So what we can do, we can actually make it look little much nicer just to give that awesome effect. And if I do keep changes, boom, we are back in business. So now you'll have to do a little bit of uh, a trial and error to make it look nicer. But as you can see, this was pretty easy to do. This is like a mid-level complexity and then I have another picture here uh, which is quite complex in its own way. There are a lot of colors, a lot of gradients. They are fighting with each other. So it's not going to be easy and I'm going to show you why it is not going to be easy. So same same thing. Uh, import the picture, select it, go to format, remove background and then PowerPoint is now sensing that it is it is thinking that I want to keep all these colors. That is not the case, you know. So it's going to be a little tricky. So I'm going to say, I want to keep this area. So it, this looks good. Then I'm going to say, I want to remove this area, right? So there is a little bit of uh, uh, complexity, uh, dexterity involved. Uh, and uh, let's see. Now this head, right? It is looking, four point is thinking that we don't want it, but that's not the case. I want the hairs. Oh, sorry. I want the hair. So I want to do mark areas to keep. So I think we pretty much got it. I'm going to remove this area. We don't want in between this. 
and then if I apply keep changes we almost got it right so that completes my tutorial so basically uh, PowerPoint has nice uh, uh, color editing uh, picture editing capabilities it depends on what type of picture uh, that you have uh, in place uh, so this is uh, simple simplistic and then once you do that right I want to basically copy it so before I do that right so basically I showed you three ways right simple way mid mid complexity and then uh, extremely complex right so now if you want to bring in any other background right what you can do basically copy copy this picture and then let's say if I want to use this background and bring in the squ squirrel on that right boom it looks nice right so I hope you got something out of this uh, and there are a lot of other tools out there like Canva which is pretty instant there are a lot of uh, iPhone apps out there but PowerPoint also has uh, some way uh, some capabilities uh, that will allow you to get the job done uh, without paying any money so uh, signing off talk to you later take care